The hydrometer is probably the easiest way to take a gravity reading, both after you're done brewing your beer as well as after fermentation is complete. In this video, I want to show you how to check the calibration of your hydrometer, take a proper reading. I also want to cover how to prepare a sample for pressure fermentation to take a reading. And also, what the heck is this blue collar ring thing for? All right, so let's jump right into how to calibrate your hydrometer or how to check the calibration on it. Most hydrometers that I have seen are calibrated at 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And what you need to do is you're gonna to need to get distilled water and you're gonna to need to bring it to the temperature of 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Now what I will do generally is I will put some water into a container and then I'll put some ice into like a Ziploc bag and just basically kind of you know, dip and, and circulate the ice cubes in the bag through the water. And you do that so that you don't get any of the, the water from the ice cubes into the distilled water because you want pure water. And then basically you're going to fill up the flask and then you're going to float your hydrometer in there. Now here's one of the things that you have to make sure you take note of. The hydrometer reading is not where the water or liquid bridges up the side of the hydrometer. There's like a little slope there where it comes up the side of the hydrometer. You actually want to read the flat part, the very flat surface of the water and draw like an imaginary line from one side to the other on that flat spot in the water. And that would be your level or that would be your reading. And here I've got a Brewing America hydrometer. I'll leave links for everything down in the description below. And as you can see, it's basically dead on 1.0000. So by show of hands, how many people have filled their hydrometer flask, dropped their hydrometer in, and it overflows everywhere and goes all over the place? <laughs> I know I have done it many times. Now, that is where this blue ring comes into play, actually. This ring is to allow you to determine what the level should be in the hydrometer to take a reading without overflowing. Now, the way that I would determine this is basically I would you know, take whatever, like let's say my beer is going to be 1.050. I would hold my hydrometer at that level at the edge. And I like to take my readings all the way the, with a full flask. So there's no glass distortion in between the reading and my eyes and fill it up with liquid all the way, probably water all the way up to the level. You know, when you're holding your hydrometer up to the edge of the flask, fill it all the way up to the very top and then pull your hydrometer out. And whatever level that is, that's where you will slide this ring to. So you slide it down the hydrometer flask and then that's going to be the level you're going to fill your sample to so that whenever you drop your hydrometer in gently, I might add, don't drop it in there real hard because you might hit the bottom and break it. And that's going to be your level that you fill it to so you can take your reading. Now it does vary a little bit, not very much because these don't really displace that much liquid once you get the full, the, the main part of the, the body in there. And so, you know, you can, you can adjust it a little bit, but generally once you figure out where that level is at zero or at 1.010, which is usually, you know, that, that's a pretty good, pretty good benchmark. You don't have to adjust it much from there, but you can, if you're doing like a big beer or something like that, where you know it's going to be 1.080 or something, you might want to adjust it so that your sample is going to give you a good level to read at. One of the things you should be aware of when you're taking an original gravity or even a final gravity measurement for that matter is that it is affected by the temperature as well. So it's calibrated at 60 degrees, just like we talked about in the beginning. So if you have a sample that's say 70, 68, 70 degrees, you're going to need to do an adjustment for that. Now you can do it in software. One of the things I do like about the Brewing America hydrometers, at least the ones that I'm using in this particular video, is they do have a thermometer built into the bottom of the hydrometer and it will actually give you a scale whether you're above 60 degrees or below 60 degrees it will give you the adjustment for the measurement with the hydrometer i know a lot of you have been enjoying these quick tip videos if you're enjoying this video so far give it a thumbs up down there just lets youtube know that you're enjoying it and they'll push it out to more people so that more people can see the video it does help out the channel and i certainly do appreciate it now let's talk about pressure fermentation because that's a big thing now and a lot of people are doing pressure fermentation but when you do pressure fermentation, there is a certain amount of CO2 that occurs and gets basically pushed into the beer. So a lot of times you see people talking about their beer is fully carbonated when they do the pressure fermentation. Well, that will definitely affect the reading. Now I did a little experiment where I took one beer and did the scrubbing of the CO2 and then just did, a, did another sample 
without scrubbing the CO2. Now, how I scrub the CO2 is I will take a funnel and I'll take a coffee filter and I'll pour the sample into the coffee filter in the funnel and let it basically drip down and fill up the flask. And that's scrubbing the CO2 out of the sample while it's filling the flask. So I did that with the first flask and then the second flask, I just basically poured off a sample off of the tap and this is a fully carbonated beer. So I just wanted to kind of prove a point and poured it in the flask as gently as possible and then let both of those kind of equalize at about 60 degrees. They were within one degree of each other and then drop my two hydrometers in. As you can see, the hydrometer on the right is the one that has the carbonation in it that wasn't scrubbed. And then the one on the left has had the CO2 scrubbed out of it. And I find that it usually gives you probably somewhere between 0 0.02 to 0 0.04 difference if you don't scrub the CO2 out of there. So if you're doing pressure fermentation, make sure if you're using your hydrometer that you're scrubbing the CO2 out of there and making sure that you know, you're know you getting an accurate reading if you're taking like a, a post fermentation reading. Now there's also a quick way for those of you that might be beginners to determine your approximate ABV. So most hydrometers have a little bit of a scale on them where one side will have the, the specific gravity, which is your 1.00 whatever. And then the other side will say potential alcohol. So what the potential alcohol is like, let's say if it shows if your hydrometer is sitting at 5%, if the fermentation took the, the level all the way down to 1.000, like basically a flat fermentation, that would be where your alcohol percentage would arrive. Now, most of the time beer doesn't go all the way down that far. Sometimes it can, but most of the time it doesn't. So a quick easy way to find out what your ABV is, is to take the measurement when you start with your gravity, uh, whatever your starting gravity is before fermentation, document that both in your specific gravity as well as what it shows on potential alcohol. And then whenever your fermentation is complete, take that same reading and you can look at the potential alcohol. So let's say if it was, it showed your potential alcohol was 7% to begin before fermentation. And then after fermentation, you take a look at it and the potential alcohol is 2%. You would basically just take those two numbers, uh, take the first number, which would be the 7% and subtract the 2% from it. And then basically you come up with 5% ABV on your beer. That's a simple way. If you're using software like Brewfather or something like that, you can plug in your specific gravity numbers and it will definitely, you know, give you the ABV to the 0.0 whatever. This has been Brian for Short Circuit of Brewers. We'll see you on the next video.